I think I saw a video of you circulating around, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's you right? Yes. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make something. I'm not. I'm not into guys. It was, oh, a, it was mistake. Yes, it was a mistake. How? Something that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. Yeah, I was drunk, so I was taken advantage of, and oh. I was videoed without my permission. And he later blackmailed me. So it's basically like I'm a victim. Are you still a silly? A victim? So, Are you doing the thing? Oh. No, you don't understand. You see. I didn't have willpower. I didn't have the willpower. Okay, you were drunk, like, like you see, it's, yes, you put something in my drink. Happens. Oh, yeah. So I didn't you know. Okay. And I took it, and I was feeling a little bit dazed. If you want to believe me, so if you don't want to. Oh, it's me. fine. I can't believe because you come in here. We are girls here, not guys. So that means you're to something. Oh yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm an educator, and if I'm here today, I'm here just to break down whatever happened between Hefa and I. Cause guy, you know, after every interview he goes. He has a whole different story to say, a whole different storyline, a whole different setup and format. And it's really spoiling my name and tarnishing my image. I don't like that. So I'm here to clear the air. Please listen to me if you can. Thank you. So fast forward to how we met. He texted me on Twitter because on Twitter I used to have some really wild content there. That was before my account was taken. This new one I'm trying to tame down. So when he texted me there, I think... The vibe was not really there and he was like, he wants my telegram because he has heard my telegram has a whole lot of hot stuff on it. So I gave him my telegram and then he texted me on telegram too. That was when he was being flirtatious. And as time went on, he was like, I want to see you. Can I come pick you up? Like he was giving off fly boy kind of energy, like DB vibes. I don't know who told him that. I like money, but that was what he was doing. But let me just mind him. What is your problem here for? What's up? So I want to see you with urgency. Like I really have to see you today. He's like, okay, would you come pick me up? He said no, but he can. Um, I can book your boats and come. I was like, no. If I'm coming to see you at your house, you take care of the transportation, cause I have my space. You could have come to me, but you said you wanted me to come to you. So that's what I did. I made him book a ride for me. The ride took me. We went all the way from where I was to his place and it was so far. But I still went. The driver got missing at some point. So he had to call him for directions. And then the driver told him that, okay, he has to come because he's not getting where he's pointing. So he came to join us in the ride. He was at the front seat. And then we got... Like as we we're going, yeah, we it was an estate, all right. And the driver and I were part, like we were passing nice looking houses. It was giving me mention, it was giving Tibay or DB, sorry, but I say Tibay or Tibay. It was giving that, and I was like, okay, so it means we're going somewhere good. We bypassed all these bougie houses and got to. The other house which was his house and it was not given at all i was so disappointed and theater right now also means same not say um me and cross nine question no question inside because his grandma is around i was like wait there's an old man here you want to do stuff nah bro that's so wild so he put me by the hand like sneaked me inside very sharp and when I say when I got outside, it was like when I got out from the car, the house was not giving. The inside, I took my phone trying to order a ride so I can leave, like I can clock the fuck out because this is not what I said. Yeah, I was trying to order a ride to leave because I was not feeling comfortable. And then he comes up with, oh hey, I do have this sugar mommy that is so obsessed with people like you, especially you, and she wants us to do something on camera for her so if you do it she's gonna pay 300 dollars but she, if she likes it she's gonna double it so meaning 600 dollars all for me why not buy the buy i was like okay if she's gonna pay good let's do this only did i know i was about to regret that decision so i was like sure let's get into it but he could not use his phone to record because it was not of good camera quality let me just say that let me be decent let me be polite it was not giving so he had to use my phone to record and then send it to his phone 
I was like, yo, if you're done, delete it. And he was like, oh, nah, if he loses it, he'll call me or contact me for it. I was like, okay, then, sure. When am I going to get the money? He said, oh, he said she's sending it right now, like, eight stuff. So I was like, okay, then let me wait for her to send it. And he was like, oh, nah, you have to go. My dad is coming. I thought it was a joke. And then, boom, this man, out of nowhere, appears in there. I have to be sneaked out of his room into the toilet for I think was it an hour? It was it was it was long and a bitch was suffocating like I was losing my life in the washroom but I kept quiet. He ordered the right for me and asked him, since you paid for the first one, you know you're supposed to pay for this one too, right? Okay, so have you paid? He was like, Oh yeah, yes, pay the driver okay sure let's go then he sneaked me out again when his dad arrived in the house we sat in i sat in the car sorry and then boom i left when i got to his junction all the way from there it took like one hour 30 minutes to get back to my place i was calling this guy and he had blocked my phone number i used the driver's phone to call him and he went through but mine was not going through that's when i knew that whoop and nigga had blocked me so already my mood had changed and the driver noticed because I was talking like I like to have conversation with drivers all the time. So the driver was like, young lady, what's the matter? It's like die, you know what? See more baby, nami nante, because I don't I don't feel good. I hate to feel stupid. How the fuck would you try to take advantage of me? Like you try to outsmart me. I have so many scammer daddies. You can never outsmart me. Second of all, I'm trans. His dad looked me dead in the eye and was like, oh, hey, Ford. And then went to call him for me. When he called him for me, I was like, bro, why the fuck would you just block someone right after business? That is not professional. Like, that is so wrong. After everything, the driver was like, you know what? He's tired. Where is the money? Now he wants the money. And then Hiva's mom was like, she's going to pay for it. So the driver should calm down. Could you believe this man had to make some calls to even come up with the 50 cities? The driver was taking 200 for sending me and bringing me back. But if he used to send me again, he would take 300 I was like, I'll pay for that one. But looking at what the woman was going through, just to even raise the 50 cities to pay for, that was not all. That was even some of the money. I was like, driver, you know what? This is what she has. Just take it. I'll pay some calls and get you your money, please. Before you even get to my place, trust me. He did that. He took me back. And then he even called me once I was in the car. He was like, okay, so I'm going to send you the money on Tuesday. Please, I promise. I'm going to send you the money on Tuesday. Tuesday finally arrives when he's supposed to run my motherfucking money. And guess what happens? I called him. It doesn't go through. Just like what happened when I was leaving his house. I was calling, calling, calling. It wasn't going through. And I was like, mm, this is giving blocked. So since I was giving blocked on every social media platform, I was like, why don't I reach one of the people that engage with this post on Twitter? I reached one guy, I was like, hi, what's up? I said, hey, do you know Hayford? I was like, yeah, he does. Who doesn't know him? I'm like, okay, please tell him that he has some money to give me, so remind him to send it to me. Asa. And the guy said, okay, sure, but why or what is the money for? Because people like Hayford will never come into contact with someone like you. I get in this scenario. Uh huh. So I didn't tell the guy anything, and then the guy went to Hayford. Hey, Hedy said you have to give her some money, so she's just reminding you. All that I wanted from this guy was communication, because you know 3,000 is quite an amount to come by. So at least all that you can do is, um, okay, because I didn't get it today, so you just let's be hopeful. I would send it to you when I get it. I just wanted that communication bar. But guess what this nigga does? Instead of him to humbly talk to a bad bitch like me, he opens his mouth and sends threats to me through the guy that if I'm pressuring him, blah, 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 he's giving me three hours. Otherwise, he's going to send people to come beat me the fuck up. Nobody can touch me. Get out into your head like what the fuck do you mean by that you owe me money give me the money and then you open your mouth to send threats to me nigga nigga what i wanted from this guy 
is communication and humility. Because the, 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 the worst that can happen is what? I get mad and do what? Because the money is with you. So I have to also communicate with you gently to get what I'm looking for. But all of a sudden, you send threats to a bitch like me? A battery like myself? Don't do that. No, don't. Just do All of a sudden, after passing the, the threats through the boy to come and tell me, guess what this boy does? He goes on his Twitter page to tweet nasty about me, talking about, I'm this, I'm that, I'm broke. Well, maybe. But I'm this and that and my coochie stings. He was talking about this coochie coochie like it stings. What the fuck? Nigga, I bath three times a day. I use my feminine hygiene wash and it's tight as fuck. You can never speak down on my coochie because niggas be going and coming for more. That's what it's giving. It's giving bidiancor. So what the fuck are you talking about? My coochie stings. Now you're proving to them that okay, I linked with her educator and we did this and that and I saw her coochie. You see the things that niggas can say just to bring your name down? That's what it was giving. But if my coochie was thinking, how the fuck was you eating it like the last supper? Forget the disciples, they didn't even eat that much. But nigga, you ate that. So a couple of spaces on Twitter were held and I was being called to come and explain what happened because now nigga has made it obvious that we linked and i was like okay we didn't do anything we just kissed and then they were using the tweets to attack me that we didn't just kiss because if we just kissed how did he know my ass is this or that and i was like don't mind me you know the things a, a guy can say hey let me speak to you or say me feel no what do you mean my bear wants to make come because he wants to hurt your feelings and i was like but well, why would you say that like why would you lie like that it makes sense what you say. So they were attacking me, and I was like, Nah, I didn't do nothing like that. So, first of all, I never ratted him out. Nigga ratted himself to the whole fucking internet. Nobody should blame me for snitching on him or anything. Because when the issue first came, people thought I did it. I put his name out there, I'm disgracing him. But nigga bought his own motherfucking disgrace with Amazon. Period. And there was even this screenshots between he and some boy after they told on a space yeah i was like we didn't do anything we kissed we did nothing extra like we didn't do anything boom and then this screenshot comes up where a guy was saying that oh but wait what is she saying on twitter like it was a conversation between he and his friends and then he told his friend that um why should they lie say we don't do anything? If we don't do anything, what is this? be what we do. And nigga sent him the videos where I was giving the guac, guac, guac 3000. Who does that? Like, I, I was confused. I was like, this nigga is so stupid. Because, why would you be proud to show this to your friends? Can't you keep a secret? Can't you lie that it's not even you? Like, because I had the video, he had the video, so if I did not post the 4 minutes videos, 5 minutes videos and whatever videos that was surfing on the internet or surfacing on the internet, who else posted it if it's not from him? So why would I want to disgrace, knowing what was at stake for him, why would I do this to him? Like, even if I'm a bad person, I have a heart. I do have a heart. Yeah, all this beauty has a heart. So I'll never do something like that to anybody. He made it look like I rotted him out on the internet. Secondly, I record. He even lied that it was not him. How many times or when are y'all gonna wake up from this lie she has told you? He said that is not him, first of all. He said that is his lookalike. Thirdly, he said I dragged him. I don't even smoke weed, nigga. I don't. What am I gonna do with drugs? Even if there was drugs, which drink was he gonna like where's the drink drugs me drug i have all this beauty and i need to drug to get what i want we put your system he's been lying to you guys so much and for those that have bought his lies congratulations we just graduated from crutch to kindergarten 
because first of all i'm not the one secondly that's my look alike thirdly you are on instagram seeking asylum for another country fourthly i'm dragging you so i dragged you hey what's me is that okay guys so this that's the final part i guess y'all like story times 